In Pygame, when working with keyboard or mouse inputs, we talk about an event handler. But what does that mean? Pygame manages its events through an event queue. As events are detected, they get added to this queue. We can then use these events to detect mouse clicks, keyboard presses, and so on. There are a few functions associated with events, but the one you will use most is pygame.event.get. This function will grab all the events from the queue and allow us to process them. That is why our event handler typically uses a for loop. We grab all the events, which come back as a list, then we iterate through the list and look at each event. If it's one that we are interested in, then we catch it with an if statement. Otherwise, it gets discarded. Now let's look at this in action. I have a basic program set up here with an event handler, which uses the function that I just mentioned, pygame.event.get. This event handler isn't processing any events yet. It is just set up to print any events that it picks up so that I can demonstrate what's happening. If I run this code, you'll start to see that at the bottom here is printing out any events that have occurred so far. So if I move my mouse onto the game window, you see it's picking up mouse motion and showing me the position of the mouse and a whole bunch of other information. I can click, I can right click, and I can type on the keyboard. I can leave the window, come back to the window, and it picks up all of these things. When I click in the top right, you'll notice that it detects a quit now it's not actually closing the window, but it just simply detects the fact that a quit event has been executed. But because my code doesn't handle these events, the program doesn't shut down. So right now, the only way to close this is to go into the task manager and actually kill the program that way. This gives you an idea of some of the events within Pygame. So let's look at them in more detail. The main one that you will always use is pygame.quit. This is pretty crucial since it allows the user to correctly close down the game. As you saw in a demo, clicking on the red X in the top right corner didn't close the program down, it just recorded the quit event. Then there are input events for the keyboard and mouse, like key down and key up to detect keyboard buttons being pressed and released, mouse motion to detect mouse movement, mouse button down to detect mouse clicks, and mouse button up to detect mouse clicks being released. There's a whole bunch of other events, but you will rarely, if ever, need to use those in a regular Pi game project. So let's look at how to use some of these more common events events. In the previous example, we looked at how to iterate through the events and print out each one as it happens. So now let's replace this with an if statement that checks for specific events. The first one we'll look for is the quit event. We'll say if event.type is equal to pygame.quit. Then the event names are in all caps here. So if this happens, we want to exit our while loop. The while loop is continuing on this run variable being equal to true. So if I just set that run variable to false, that will end the while loop and it will end the game. Now I can test this again, bring up the game window, and when I click the red X, it closes the game down. Now let's check for keyboard events. I'm gonna keep this as it is so that I can still quit the game, but underneath I will add a second if statement. I'll say if event.type is equal to pygame.key down, and then we'll simply print that a key has been pressed. If I run this again and I just type typing, you can see it's popping up here to say key has been pressed. It doesn't matter which key, it's just taking any input from the keyboard. I can now repeat this if I just copy this one down and change it from key down to key up. This event will trigger when a keyboard button has been released. So we'll just change the print statement from key has been pressed to key has been released. And if I run this again, as soon as I press a key, it's triggering key has been pressed. Now I release that key, key has been released. Again, it doesn't matter which key is being pressed. As long as I hit the keyboard, it's picking up both events. And now we can do the same thing for mouse clicks. It works very much in the same way. So let's just clear this out of the way and add in mouse events. We'll say if event.type is equal to pygame, and this time it's mouse button down then we simply print click. Now I can copy this down and duplicate the event for a mouse button being released. If event.type is equal to pygame.mouse button up, change that print statement to say release. And just like before, as long as I'm clicking down, it says click, as soon as I release, it says release. The last event that I wanted to go over is mouse motion. So let's clean this up, get rid of these events, and say if event.type is equal to pygame.mousemotion. And all we'll do is just print out a statement to say mouse is moving. If you run this one, 
So as long as the mouse is moving, you can see it's detecting it and picking up in the bottom left. Now when I go off the screen, that event's no longer triggering. It only triggers as long as the mouse is over the game window. That covers the more common events that you're going to see. I'm going to go into detail on keyboard and mouse events in a separate video, but for now I wanted to explain how the event handler works and how to process events from it. I hope this video was useful and thanks for watching.